Okay, this how-to video is gonna show you how to use the delay tune command inside the Cadence PCB tools. So I've got some scenarios in, in designs where I might want to length match some, some certain nets. So I've got these seven, seven nets here that I want to length match. Um, and the way I would do that is I would use the delay tune command to, to add length to, the, to these C lines. I mean, I can manually root tracks and try and do it that way, but that's a bit cumbersome and a bit manual. But if I use the delay tune command, I can actually make this a, bit, a little bit more automated. So let's have a look at uh, the constraints first. So setup and constraints. So on anything that requires a length match, so the differential pair one, the total extent one, the min match propagation delay ones, and the relative propagation delay worksheets, um, all allow you to kind of control length. So you see I've got a match group here, byte lane zero, and if I just analyze this, I've got a target value, but all the remaining six members are too short, so I hence I get this minus value here. So I need to add a certain amount of length to be able to do that. So I can do this from uh, the icon, the delay tune icon. I can do this from the root delay tune command, or I can hover over the C line that I'm interested in if I'm in etch edit mode and just do a right click and then there's a delay tune. The options pane then changes to, to, to give me the delay tune options. So I've got different modes. I can obviously do um, the accordion style, which is that type of accordion style. And with the accordion style and full arcs, I get a gap, so I can maybe change that. Let's change that to two times the space. So I then get a slightly bigger gap between the, the delay tune bars. So that's something to consider depending on what you're trying to do. So let's just go back to one width here. So this is just one width of the C line. You've got a trombone option, which will allow you to kind of generate this trombone style. And obviously this is centered at the moment. Let's take the centering off and you can obviously have the, the centering or the, the trombone off to one side of the C line. And then there's a sawtooth option, which will effectively give me like a, a tooth saw. So I can then uh, get that kind of two saw going down the C line if I wanted to do that. So different options, obviously the center will center it on the C line. So let's just put that into an accord and you can see that there. Um, and then there's full arcs, there's 45s with a, a different mitre size for a width. And then there's a, a 90 degree corners, which will just give us a 90 degree corners and the, the gap as well. So depending on which you prefer, you can obviously choose the, the style that you like. So I'm gonna, let's, let's do a few of these. So we'll start off with the accordion. Uh, we'll base it centered on this track. And what I'm looking for, you see this heads up display that's attached to the mouse changing from red to green. So when it's red, it's too short. I've got a minus value there. I get to green, I'm now meeting the constraints. If I go to beyond the tolerance of that, that constraint value, it goes to red again. Um, you'd also get this kind of stipple pattern going down the center of the track. So obviously when it's um, too short, you get this kind of, let's just zoom out a little bit. You see this stipple pattern going down the middle. If I meet the constraint, the stipple pattern disappears. And if I go too far, the stipple pattern reappears again. So different ways to graphically represent what you're looking at here. So obviously when I get this constraint to meet, I can get it to go to green. When I click to confirm, effectively my DRC disappears and I can then move on to the next trace. So let's go and do a, a right mouse button delay tune on this one. This time we'll do a sawtooth. Um, am I gonna have enough to be able to get it in? Probably not, so I'll probably use a, let's use a trombone in this option. And we'll take the centered off. We'll bring it this side. Green, I'm meeting the constraint. This is also gonna work on differential pairs. So if I did a right mouse button delay tune here, um, let's just change that to an accordion style. Um, I can use this on both halves of the differential pair. There is an option here to do right mouse button single trace mode, which will just give me one half if you want to do that individually. But in this scenario, I don't need to. So I'm just gonna get both of these done. That will sort that DRC out. We'll then do a right mouse button delay tune. Let's do a, uh, Let's do an accordion with uh, 45 degrees. In fact, I've picked the wrong trace because that's actually the target trace, so we need to do this one. And then finally this one. So I'm meeting the constraints, all my DRC errors have gone away, so if I then go back to Constraint Manager, you can see that my match group is now green all the way down, so we just analyze this I'm good to go and move on to the next part of my design. 